big deal, y'all. This is a big deal, and I'm gonna explain to you why. Today is a really special day. A lot of perspective has happened. A lot of perspective has happened. I just came from South Central LA, Watts, where I was born and raised. I was born at Martin Luther King Hospital. December 30th, 1978. God obviously had a plan for my life and my career beyond anything that I could ever expect. I want y'all to understand a few things. Sometimes, sometimes, you, as a man or a woman, it doesn't matter how old you are, you can find yourself thinking and believing that because you're struggling right now, that's gonna dictate what the outcome of your life and your career is. I wanna remind y'all something. Everything that you could ever be exposed to, everything, all of us have a different version of the struggle. But I wasn't one of them dudes that lived in Watts, South Central LA and had it good. Everything about my life and my career, upbringing was fucked up. My mom's was an alcoholic for 27 years. She's been sober now going on nine years by the grace of God only. My dad is still on drugs and alcohol as we speak. A lot of my homies got murdered in jail, 25 to life. I'll never see him. A lot of my boys got killed. A lot of my homegirls got killed. Car accidents, murder, prostitution, rape, drugs, cripping, blood, gang violence, drive-by shootings, everything that one man could possibly see or be exposed to that, that could potentially make you decide, I quit, I wanna give up, I'm done with this. I never allowed for my situation that I was in at the time to stop me from dreaming and having hopes and ambitions beyond my current reality. It's almost like being in prison. If there's some inmates out there looking at this Facebook video, I'm talking to you. Other than you physically being in jail or feeling like you're in jail from being in the ghetto, the projects, or living in these certain areas where everything is fucked up and mean and malicious and evil and friends and family and loved ones is dying, every obstacle possible is set up as a setback. This is something my pastor told me I thought was so powerful. Some, sometimes a setback is a setup for God to compel you ah, into something way beyond what you could ever imagine. It's almost like a slingshot. You can't be compelled this way until you get pulled back first. Ah, ah, and then you fly. Fly higher than the clouds, higher than the Care Bears, high in the sky. Here I am. 36 years old, and I'm here on the lot of Universal Studios. When I was a kid, the first place I remember going when I left my school was to come to the Universal Studios lot. This is the true story. And they said, this is when E.T. had his own display up here. They had a big ass blue screen, and they had a little bike with the fake E.T. in the basket in the front of the bike. And they asked the whole crowd, is there anybody out here that wants to volunteer and come on stage and get on this bike and play like they're in the movie E.T.? I raised my hand, I screamed, me! That happened right here on the Universal lot. I was probably eight years old, seven years old. I said, me! I got picked. When I got picked, I was on this E.T. bike and I was in front of a crowd of like 300 people. And all of a sudden behind me, they started wait, they, they, they was the, everything behind me became like a blue screen of clouds. And it was the first time I had ever been filmed in front of a blue screen or a green screen at the time. Changed my life forever. And now here I am. On Universal Studios lot. The first movie to ever gross a billion dollars in universal history. The Fast and the Furious. Because of you, the fans, of course. The first one 
the first movie in history to ever get to a billion dollars that fast in 16 days. The same movie studio lot that I came to when I was a shorty and waved on the E.T. ride. I'm also one of the stars of Transformers, one, two, and three. And there's a theme park ride here, a Transformers ride from a movie that I starred in, directed by Michael Bay. And now there's a Universal Studios Fast and the Furious ride. So here I am, black little humble kid from South Central LA who came to Universal Studios and got my first taste of Hollywood. And here I am now on this same Universal lot that I came to as an eight-year-old kid. And I got two movies with theme park rides featured on the Universal lot. And both of these movies have grossed over a billion dollars. So I wanna remind y'all that where you currently are in your life, drugs, alcohol, murder, friends and family that are dying, whatever you're going through personally, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, will not dictate what the outcome of your life and your career is destined to be. I'm asking that you don't give up. I'm asking that you ignore text messages and phone calls where they're trying to pull you away from your focus and go to clubs and hang out. I'm asking ladies that you stop having sex. And if you are having sex, do not have raw, unprotected sex because it feels better. Because that man is capable of making a child doesn't mean that he's ready to be a father. It doesn't mean that you even know what the concept of being a mother is or the responsibility of being a mother is because you're able to give birth to a child. Live your life. Legs closed, open those books, stay focused, stay in school, and do not allow for your mind and your spirit to be depressed and give up hope because of the current state of where you are because only God ultimately has the blueprint and the plan of what the outcome of your life and your career is gonna be. I am a walking, living, breathing testament of that. And I'm gonna wrap it up with this. And if you make it to the end of this video, I want you to write, God's test will become your testimony at a certain point. And whatever you've been through, you will always grow through what you go through. Your test, is a part of your testimony. You're going to grow through what you continue to go through. If you see pain and misery and frustration and you, you've already been down that road, don't walk in the direction of pain and drama and problems. Love yourself enough to say you deserve better and it doesn't matter where you are financially, we all deserve to be happy. And because you only got $2 in your bank account, don't mean that you have to have $2 and submerge yourself with dysfunctional, crazy, and, and ratchet people. What do you want the outcome of your life to be and your career to be? It starts now. Where you are today does not dictate the outcome of where your life and your career is destined to be. I, Tyrese Gibson, 36 years old, two huge franchise movies to gross over a billion dollars. And they said, and they said that that's not possible. To God be all the glory. I hope at least one person sees this video. If you make it to the end of this video, I want you to write test. Wait, I want you to write God's test will become your testimony. God's test will become your testimony. Instead of you thinking that the only way you can give back is by cutting a check. Most people don't have money to give, but you can speak up on your test because it becomes your testimony. There's so many people out here that can just use your insight and information about the things that you've been through and the things that you've overcome so that they can stop being stressed and depressed and miserable about it. Start having conversations with people and you will make all the difference in the world. Use my success and understand that there is nothing that I have done or achieved or accomplished that you can't. It's me today and it's you tomorrow. I love you.